Somebody's having an identity crisis. Well, I'd say this crisis has been averted. Here. Ah! Ugh, what the hell? Have fun with those. Oh yeah, scrap metal. Thanks. Do not backsass me. Hey, Mimic, what's going on? Uh, good evening, Eleanor. Hmm. You seem different. Yes, I. Guess I am. I haven't seen Nightmare or Eclipse all day. What have they been up to? I sent Eclipse on mission. However, Nightmare's whereabouts are unbeknownst to me. Hmm. Interesting. So what mission did you send him on? Why aren't I doing anything? Nightmare wasn't supposed to be particularly doing anything either. Perhaps I should inflict punishment on this erratic behavior next time I see him. Who? I want to be around for that one when that happens. Sounds fun. Eleanor, I feel as if, out of the three of them, you are the most... intelligent. Oh, shucks, you're too kind. I'd say I value your input more than most. Since you were... Antiquated with the Afton army, who do you feel amongst the troops was the most powerful? Well, from what I remember, Glamrock Freddy was central to taking him down. Him being the keeper of color, and also the keeper of life, it seems. It took a lot out of him, but he was able to remove the core from the Afton amalgamation, something I feel that no other person would have been able to do. So, I hope you agree with me when I say I should find the source of his powers. Oh, now you're speaking my language. From what I have learned about Remnant as well, it does have life-giving properties. That is true. It does make me feel very lively when I have it on my person. I feel finding the source of Glamrock Freddy's power would be a fantastic substitute for your remnant. Huh? You're pretty good at this. I am only following my design. With each passing day, I gain more intelligence. And with that, more power. A good mimic replicates the surroundings. However, a great one will adapt to them. I can hear everything you guys are saying, you know. Keep talking. It only makes me stronger. Come a little closer. Next time I shock you, maybe it'll fry all your circuits. You lose all that precious data. I would snap you in two if I could. However, you prove useful. What was your attachment to Gregory Young Cassie? I believe you said you were siblings. But it has to be more than that. Because it appears no one knows of your existence, except for us. You told me to keep my lips shut, because, you know, speaking only makes you stronger. Wise. All right, took some notes. Hi, Eleanor. Hi, Eclipse. What were you doing? Mimic asked me to take some notes on all the glam rocks. We are attempting to find one that would have a close enough friend we could, well, test his powers on. Oh, I'm catching on. So you want to mimic one of their closest friends to get on the inside? You pick up on these things quick. It is as I said, you are the most intelligent out of this group. Hey, wow, I just did all of that for you? Ooh, the day I get my powers back. And that shall not happen for another. 10,000 years, approximately. I believe you will run out of time before that happens. <sighs> do you have the data I inquire about or not? Yeah, I do. Far as I know, that friend group is pretty tight. 
those chumps don't really know a whole lot of people outside of their little circle. However, there is one loose link. Who would that be? Glamrock Bonnie. He's been all over the world, practically. I suspected he knew plenty and plenty of people. He was a scam artist. He met everyone, practically. It's how he met Roxanne Wolf for the first time, oddly enough. He has a bit of a history, needless to say. Let me see, I found him on Facebook. Hey, kid. Ugh, don't talk to me. Did you get a haircut? Why do you look so different? Oh, uh, the thing that happened where, you know, the game that she was in came out, so we uh, updated her design to reflect that better. Yeah, subtle way to break the fourth wall. Ha! There he is. Right here. This does prove to be a suitable persona. Mimic program test one initiated. Oh, we might want to stand back for this one. Oh, 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 man! Precisely as intended. This is good. What are you? I believe he went by Tiger Rock. <laughs> Is she awake? Hmm? Uh, I actually don't know. Chica? Hey, Chica, you awake? I'm gonna take that as a no. Do we know, do we know why she's laying down like that? I don't, I don't think so. Uh, Chica, um, you, you good? Oh, uh, I think someone's at the door. Uh, you guys handle this. Could you grab the phone too? We might need a doctor. Uh, hey, what? Well, I'll be darned. I should have known you wind up here, boy. What? Tiger Rock? Ha ah, ah, ha ah, ha! Bonnie, it's good to see you, boy. Hey, man. It's, it's been a while. Couple years, in fact. I thought I ain't never gonna see you again, boy. Come riding through town and finds out you uh, made a quiet little place for yourself. Locals said you've been very homely lately. Yeah, I, I met a group of friends, you know, we've been, been good. Why, that's great to hear. Hey, what happened to your bling, boy? Don't tell me you lost them glasses. It's why I even noticed you in that pub all them years ago. Oh, uh, the glasses, um, well, nah, I didn't lose them, it's just... Uh... Ah, boy, I saved them theatrics for later. I wanna go meet these ragtag group of friends of yours. The, well, Tiger Rock... Hmm? Something wrong, boy? I... You know what? Never mind. Ah, I don't blame you. Stuff slips my mind all the time. Come along, boy. <sighs> Maybe if I, like, poke cut it in the eye. Monty, but you could seriously hurt her eye. Yeah, dude, I really don't think that's a good idea. It's just like, what if I just got, like, my hand really close to it? It's gotta set off some kind of, like, fight or flight response, right? Monty, if you hurt her, I swear to God. But I don't want to hurt her! That's the entire point! I'm just trying to make sure she's okay! Look, I'll just put my hand really, really close to her eye, and then maybe her reflexes will activate. If she's really awake, you can actually see this happen. Wow, boy! What are you doing to that girl? Ah, who the hell are you? Oh! Huh? How did you get in here? Oh, your little friend let me in! Uh, yeah, um, guys... <laughs> Meet Tiger Rock. Tiger Rock? Who's Tiger Rock? Why me, of course, young lady. I take it you're some of Bonnie's ragtag group of friends, yes? Uh, yeah, we are his friends, uh, I think, right? Well, duh, yeah, they're, they're all my friends. Well, that's great to hear, really, really. So, you are... Oh, uh, I'm Freddy. I'm Roxy. I'm Monty. 
I don't think we're gonna get a response out of her yet. Yeah, and I'm Bonnie. Wait, wait, why did I say that? No, wait, are we really not gonna figure out what's wrong with her? Ah, I've seen this myself. I'd say this fine young lady's just dozing. Ah, uh, what's happening? Oh my god. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Why are you going touching all over me like that? Whoa, now, miss, it was just a friendly gesture. <laughs> I'm Tiger Rock, Glamrock Bonnie's old bud. Yes, hey, Chica, you okay? Oh, yeah, I I'm fine. I don't really know what happened. I was dozing a bit. Guess I fell asleep. What, was there some kind of event out of it? You were sleeping with your eyes open. Huh? What are you talking about? No, I wasn't. What? Yes, you were. We we all saw it. We all we all saw that, right? Yeah, I definitely saw it. Same here. Do, do I sleep with my eyes open? How do my eyes stay hydrated? We're robots. Do we really need all that? You know what? Point made. I can't believe nobody's noticed this before. I, I mean, I don't really stare at Chica sleeping. Well, now that that's all, uh, you know, behind us now. How you folks been? I'd love to hear some of your stories. How'd you all meet? Oh, well, uh, do we really gotta get the details of all that? Hey, yeah, yeah, it's a bit traumatic, but, uh, uh... Long and short of it, we were all, uh, business partners. Yeah, uh, business partners. Really now? Business partners? Interesting, interesting. Yeah, yeah, business partners. We worked under, uh, the big guy, uh, his, like, uh, yellow and stuff, and, yeah, but, uh, that company kinda disassembled and now we just kind of live together we're just chilling oh boy getting laid off ain't easy <laughs> i know i worked a couple of nine to fives in my youth yes i did huh so what do you do for a living oh well <laughs> needless to say uh, i'm a scam artist i assume you all are aware of this right wait wait oh my god i, I didn't really make that connection I, is this a scam artist buddy uh, yeah buddy wh why didn't you tell him to buzz off well i, I I kind of wanted to, but he kind of just let himself in. Um, I feel like I should be offended right now. Look, Roxy, I'm sorry. I just... Huh? Uh, what's going on? In me? Am I not, not aware of this? I imagine you all work in a similar field. I I mean, we didn't exactly work for a good guy, but I don't... Scam artists might be a little bit of a stretch. I mean, what are we going to do? I don't know. I just... I, 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 I gotta get him out of the hell out of my house. L look, look, Tiger Rock, I, I... I don't know how to say this to you, man. What? That's... that's not really me anymore, y you know? Huh? Not really you. I mean, I, I mean, I, I assume the guy you were working for isn't in operation anymore, but, you know, I, I, <laughs> I imagine that you're still in that line of work, right? I, no, not really. It just after everything that happened, I just... I made some bad choices, and I ended up here. Bad choices? Boy, you were making bad choices. Being a scam artist ain't exactly a good choice now, is it? <laughs> yeah, but this one was... was worse. I think everyone else in the room is kind of aware of that. <sighs> yeah. Um... Hey, uh... C can I ask, Bonnie? Was this... Was this when... <sighs> yeah, it, it was. Um... I'm sorry, Roxy. <sighs> yeah, I, I figured. Oh, are you one of our victims? Yeah, thanks for thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> oh wow, this is ironic. How long have you been aware of this, boy? A long time. We we haven't really talked about it much. <sighs> <laughs> so what was it, girl? Did he scam you out of a job, some money, tell you a relative got kidnapped or something? Hey, lay off a man, it's a sensitive subject. All right, all right, I apologize. I imagine it's probably pretty traumatic. <laughs> so, really turned to a life of good, huh? Wasn't simply enough to get by like it used to be. No, no, it, it wasn't. Not, not anymore. I don't. I don't need that anymore. Not like I used to. Hmm. Well, I see. Good to know. Good to know. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna step outside. Wait, Roxy, I'm sorry! It's okay, Bonnie. You don't need to apologize. Roxy... Well, geez, the moon of the night's turned sour. Yeah, it has. Bonnie, maybe you should go say something to her. She already told me not to apologize. That doesn't mean you shouldn't. Look, Bonnie, if I may interfere, 
Perhaps you should go say something to the young lady. I hold no personal ill will. However, she's your friend. I think she's owed it. Like, you have the right to talk. Hey, hey, I ain't getting hostile or nothing. However, I never particularly tried to become friends with none of our clients either. Yeah, all right, whatever. You guys keep him busy. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go try and talk to Roxy. This is just a mess. Tell me about it. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. What? Not good to have a chuckle every once in a while when you're in a bad mood? <sighs> so, Freddy. Yeah? What is it? I take it you're some kind of a special gift around here. Yeah? What about it? I've just heard rumors is all, and I would like some input from the man himself. You know, I wouldn't want to be misinformed or nothing. All right. Hey, Roxy, wait. Did I tell you to follow me or something? <sighs> Look, just... Just hear me out. Hear out what from you? What do you have to say? Hmm? What I already don't know. <sighs> Look, I... I did a lot of bad things. Oh, trust me, I'm well aware. And a lot of bad people t told me to do those bad things. Mm hmm But that... It doesn't excuse what I did. Yeah, I had a feeling. Look... I, I, I know I tore your dreams away from you. And nobody... Nobody should have their dreams torn away from them. I never really, I never really wanted to do those things. It was all just business to me. Saw people like pawns, just something so I could win, you know? And, and that wasn't a good mindset. I, I did it for, I, I did it for my, you did it for what? I did it for me. Because I liked it. You know, power. Control. It's something I didn't really have a lot in my life growing up. I wasn't really in control of my fate. And, and those gleaming moments, those moments where I, I ripped things away from people to better myself, it, 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 was, it was powerful. I, I, I felt like a god. And that wasn't good. That, that wasn't a good way to get in control of myself. But you're... You're stronger than that. What? You chose to move on. To keep going. To pursue a better life, you know? Whether it be with us or with Glitchtrap. You had good intentions. Just didn't make all the right choices. It took me a long time to realize that I didn't make all the right choices. And I know things are good now, but I'm sure you're still thinking about what you did with Glitch Trap. I know it probably still hurts, because we hurt so many people. But this isn't about me. This is about you. And I'm trying to move on from all the bad things I did. I want to be better. I owe it to someone, you know? I need to be better. And I know you want to be better. Hell, you are better. Way better than me. I had bad intentions. You didn't. I have a lot more growing to do than you do. And I don't want this weighing you down. I don't want to be the reason you can't grow. You can't do better. So, let it out. Just tell me how much of a piece of shit I am. You need it more than I do.
honey, I... Do you know how much that hurt? I don't. I really don't. Bonnie, I can't. What? Why not? I know you hate me. I know deep down you do. But I don't. I don't hate you. You a few years ago? Yeah. I wanted to kill you for what you did to me. But you're just not that person anymore. I can see it. Call it Stockholm Syndrome, but... You're my friend. You're not the same Glamrock Bonnie that I once knew. I don't know if Freddy's sucking the life out of you, rewired your brain, or if Glitchtrap fixed you somehow, but you're different. And I can see that. Well, I'm not gonna forgive you for what you did to me. You're right. I shouldn't let it weigh me down anymore. And I shouldn't let it weigh you down either. We both need to be better. Because we have important people in our lives that we owe it to. Call it a truce? Yeah. Yeah, I I'd love that. <sighs> you wanna know something? What? I didn't know how to play guitar. That was all loops. I know everyone cheered for me. And I know that I left a positive impact on those people, but that was all you. You really did know how to play guitar. And you were really, really good at it. Just, if you need a manager, just call me. I think it'll be better next time. So you telling me you've got these powers from this glitch trap fellow? Yeah, that's right. And he got those powers from a guy named Shadow Freddy that created the world. Yeah, that's that's also true. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. And since your friends were defeated in battle, all their powers dispersed back into the universe. But yours still lie within you. Yeah. That's, that's right. Freddy, do we know if we trust this guy? Look, I, I, maybe not, but what's he gonna do with it, huh? I wanted to get it off my chest. Yeah, come on, honey. I'm not gonna do nothing with all this. Nothing at all. You guys think Bonnie and Roxy are done talking? Uh, I don't know. I'll go check on him. Well, I do think I do be done here. Uh, thank you all for your time, really. Uh, I may go check on Bonnie myself, too. Wait up, hon. Freddy? Yeah? You don't... You don't need to talk to anybody, right? Like, sure. I understand you wanted to get that off your chest, but... We're all here. You could have just told us. I, I know. You guys already know what happened. I just wanted someone besides us to understand. Did it, did it help? I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, I doubt it could do much harm. Hey, Roxy, Bonnie. Huh? Hi, Chica. Hey, you guys doing okay? Yeah, we, we talked it out. Good, thank goodness. I was really worried about you guys. Yeah, well, sometimes you just gotta use your words. Well, 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 it's good to know you all worked this out. Yeah, it's, it's good. I'm happy we did. Yeah. Ooh, Roxy, I was thinking about ordering pizza. You wanna come help me? Uh, yeah, sure. What do you want, Bonnie? Huh? Oh, uh, just, I want some pepperoni. You know, keep it classy. If no one else is getting it, I'll take half, half, half a pie, you know? All right. You gonna come in? Uh, I just want to say bye to Tiger Rock before he goes. Of course. See you, sir. Goodbye, ma'am. Happy travels. 
Well, that was a fine day, wasn't it, boy? Yeah, yeah, it was. So, I gotta ask you something, Tiger Rock. Hmm? Oh, boy, come on, lay it on me. Anything, anything, really. Listen, I know you're old. Much older than the last time I saw you. But, I gotta ask. Do you remember what happened the last time we saw each other? Uh, uh, <clears throat> no, uh, it's a little foggy. I assume we left on good terms and all. Especially considering, you know, you ain't throwing me out or nothing. This old brain of mine, it just doesn't work like it used to, I guess. Since I'm so old and all. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't. Tiger Rock, listen, I understand you're old. I understand there's a lot you don't remember. But, I don't know. Something seems a little bit off. And, uh, <clears throat> what would that be, son? How come you never mentioned my brother? Uh... Um, could you give me a refresher? Why should I? I mean, we were practically together through everything. While I worked under you, we lived in the same apartment. We had dinner together multiple times. They were practically at every meeting. I mean, they weren't an employee, but, you know, he was still important to the company. To everything. Though, of course, we never publicly post his files. So, I'm just kind of surprised you don't remember him. You guys seem so close. Uh, oh, yes. Yes, your brother. Yes. It's coming back to me now. Yes. Oh, your brother. I, I miss, I do miss your brother. What? What happened to him again? I assume you'd still be together, right? Buddy, I don't know who you are or who you think you are, but I know one thing for damn certain. You are not Tiger Rock. Tiger Rock would not just forget something like that. Unless maybe you really didn't care about me. Maybe I really was just a chum to you. We were never really friends. You never really cared. I was just another pawn in your little game. Uh, boy, boy, now come on now, what are you doing? So listen here, punk. There's one of two things that's happened. Either one, you never really cared about me. Everything I did for you and your silly little company, it was just fun. I was just another guy was never really special to you. And you don't belong in my house. Or two, you aren't Tiger Rock. And you're somebody trying to pretend to be him. Which would also get you out of my house. And I'll keep this quiet to the others. Because I wouldn't want them knowing further of what happened between me and you. We did a lot of messed up things ruined a lot of people's lives. And I want to put all that behind me. But I'm not willing, however, to keep from defending my family. So perhaps I really should give it one last hurrah for old time's sake. Can I, can I abuse your bathroom? <laughs> At a time like this, you really think I'm just gonna let you use the bathroom? Buddy, I'll feel well. I should kick the shit out of you for that. Get the hell out of my house. If I ever see your stinking face again, it's either gonna be you 
or the real Tiger Rock. And when I testify in court, tell them that there was someone pretending to be you, they're gonna find you. And then you'll know, you'll know what'll happen next. Because I'll find you too. <laughs> No, <clears throat> I could go for some pepperoni. Molly, you seriously messed up. I cannot allow for a mistake like that. To happen again. I cannot allow for error again. I went into it first and overestimated my abilities. I need more power. I need to be better, stronger. I cannot simply rely. Don't get too excited, okay? It's not really me. I'm not actually the real Gregory. Oh, so I'm just crazy then. It's not that either. Your cloud database downloaded a copy of my brain into your subconscious. That's how I'm able to speak to you. When did Dad program us with a cloud database? I don't really know. But it's good to finally meet you. It's good to meet you too, bud. I'm sorry about what happened, and that I... I couldn't save you. Look, it's in the past. What matters now is we have to get you out of here. Hey, Gregory. Yeah? If you were meant to be the bomb that was going to stop Glitch Trap, why did Dad make me? Cassie. Whoa! Well, uh, um, sorry. <sighs> it's the thought that counts. So what are you gonna do now? <sighs> First, I gotta figure out how to break out of here. <sighs> 